Hello everybody, Flick here, time for another Let's Look At, and today we're looking at Skydive Proximity Flight by Cajun Entertainment. I am playing this on the PS3, it is also on Xbox. It's move and connect compatible, however I have neither of those, so I am just using my DualShock 3 controller. It's mostly a movement based skydiving game, so I will just put in a little warning here that if you have vertigo, or motion sickness or just are squeamish about watching someone accidentally smash into the sides of cliffs you may want to skip this one out because I'm not very good at it and those things happen. So when you first get into the game you're presented with this menu. I've skipped the, the kind of main title screen because it has licensed music on it and I don't want to risk copyright etc. So we have challenges, we have adrenaline races, we have freestyle and we also can set up friends challenges. I'm going to start at the top and show a little bit of each off so we're going to jump into challenges. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got 12 routes first, uh, of which I've done 9, and then there is also basic tricks, which I've done half of, uh, advanced challenges that I've not tried any of because I don't hate myself enough to tackle those yet, and then there's also some extras, which I assume are even harder. That's it there. Oh, Monkey Gorge, yeah, that's one of the locations. So I'll jump into the very first one just to show off the game, and then I'll maybe skip a few, or I'll just go through a few, and then show off the next mode. I will say the game is lacking a tutorial, I had to just learn everything from loading screens etc, but anyway. So, we have to follow the route and gather key points, I press X to start and I am going to do that. So as I was saying, this is all kind of motion controlled, that's why it's move and connect compatible. So if I want to dip myself down, what I'm doing right now is tipping my controller forwards. I can tip it sideways to go left, sideways to go right. Um, you have to hold a button down to do tricks, so I'm not sure how that would work with the eye or whatever. But for example, as I'm going through these, I can hold X and kind of push the controller down to do a forward roll, I can do a back roll. Oops, I don't want to lose too much height too early on. I may mess this up by not paying attention. Uh, you can also do barrel rolls because barrel rolls are awesome. Um, that bar below the oh, distance in the... yeah, use adrenaline, it's telling me to use it. Is your adrenaline bar. You can use that to get extra speed and keep your height up. There is also a rewind feature, although I don't really use it because I consider it... well, it's not... A it's not a case of considering it cheating, it is cheating. You're reversing time if it looks like you're about to smash into something. So I have done the minimum amount to pass this very basic challenge, but I'm just going to keep on going to try and get some more points. Doing tricks also racks up multipliers. I can just constantly spin like a torpedo. And I'll use adrenaline again to get my height back after I hit these. I find... Oh, I got a trophy that I had not got yet. I actually find the trophies really easy to get. I got like three of my first time through and as I say I'm not very good at the, the, the basics. So I'm going to get these last few. I'm going to do a backward roll and then open my... Oh, am I coming too fast? Oh no, I said successful landing. It is more successful than my usual landings where I smash into glyphs. So that was... Keep in mind that was the easiest thing you can do in the game. Uh, I will go back to the main menu and I will take a, a change challenge. I will skip a few. One that I've only got two stats on. Uh, follow the route and gather key points. Yeah, let's try number seven. It's in a snowy area, I believe. Yes, it is. Don't try it in real life. I totally agree. I actually do have mild vertigo in real life, so it didn't have that effect on me when I'm playing this. However, I know sometimes you don't notice that kind of thing if you're playing the game rather than watching someone play it. Isn't it a nice foggy day? I think this is one where you're like right on the edge of a cliff. As in the point you... yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> we're going to point... we're going to do a nose dive. Oh. Yeah, the thing with using the controller for motion is I, f I find if I accidentally kind of go too far in one direction, I overcompensate too much and that's what starts throwing me off. I start going like wild and crazy. Oh, where am I going? I'm going left, I think. I don't actually remember doing this one. I'm going to use adrenaline, keep myself high because once the bar is full, there's no point keeping it really, because it fills up quickly enough. I could probably do some tricks, but I am... Oh, see what I mean about going all over the place. There we go. So people apparently do this in real life. I mean, I know squirrel suits are used by the military and whatnot, but they do this as a recreational sport. It sounds ridiculous to me. Uh, that's quite a big distance to cover, so I'm going to use adrenaline. I could do a trick here. That's... I did one forward flip for 200 points. So I think the only tricks you can really do are front and back rolls and cork trues left or right. You can combine the two as well, but oh, very nearly. It isn't like, say, Tony Hawk where there's a, a whole plethora of different techniques you can do. I'm just going to cover a bit more distance because I think that adds to my points. 
Oh no, I'm coming too close to the ground. Right into a boulder. Apparently that counts as successful. I'm calling it successful. It's still only two out of three stars though. Uh, apparently I had zero collisions. I collided with the floor. Uh, complete the mission within 50 seconds. So I was too slow. I should have just instantly pulled the parachute, I guess. Okay, well that was the challenge mode. We'll move on to the next mode. There isn't a... Um, there isn't a, a campaign or anything per se. So that was challenges. Let's have a look at adrenaline, adrenaline races next. I believe... Yeah, I have. I've only tried one of these and... Um, uh, I couldn't even get any score, so that's why all the rest are unlocked. We'll, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> I think this is one... Is this one where you're racing? I think it is. And I came in dead last if it is. I've only tried it once. We'll find out. It's against AI, this uh, mode, I should point out. Oh yes, it is the race. Okay, well, I'll, try and, I'll try and place this time against these gits. It's because I'm not 100% sure where to go and like if you go off the course or smash into anything you get reset. So let's go low. Ideally I want to be like in second, which I am because that person has got a ridiculous speed. Has he been using adrenaline? I'll use adrenaline as well. Oh, this is like the Death Star run. Oh, oh god. This is going to be bad. See, this is what I mean. I'm having to do lots of twitchy movements so now I'm, I can't like stop doing twitchy movements so oh. ah, adrenaline kind of slows you down I don't think you can use the reverse time mode in this race but that's a given I guess uh, high or low high or low I kind of want to keep my height so I'm going to stay high am I in first right now uh, oh I think I could have went to the right there and there was a shortcut you get bone oh that's another way you can get bonus points by going under things or just by staying really close to cliff sides. How the hell did they get so much more speed than me? Oh, unless they're building up adrenaline by staying close to the, the sides etc and then using that for burst of speed. There's maybe some subtlety to it that I'm not quite grasping yet. Also I really want to know if you can get high enough to hit one of those balloons but I'm doing okay, I'm not dead last, I'm in third now. I was in first, damn it. And I'm getting bonus points for being under the ceiling so that's fine. I don't think the AI can mess up. Oh, one went high, one went low. Uh, high ground. Speed boost. Oh, he kept on going left, damn it. I don't know where I'm going. I just know that I'm two seconds ahead of the person in fourth and I'm okay with that. They're staying high. Sorry, I'm concentrating, that's why I'm not talking very much. Um, can, I, I could swear that I'm... I don't know! Damn it. <coughs> oh, alright, that's how I forgot. Yeah, that's how it works in this mode. You don't reset. You... Whoops. <laughs> oh well, there goes all my hopes and dreams. I was right at the end and smacked into a wall. I was right at the end. I was going to be in third or... S oh, apparently I still am in second. Or I was. Hold up. And into the wind. Pylon, whatever they're called. <laughs> well, I beat my previous worst. And I should have had second if I'd realised I was still in second at the time, but nope. Yeah, I failed massively. I might go back to do one more run of that after I show you the, the final set of modes in the game. So we'll go to quit mission. Uh, no, do I want to do that? I want to... Yeah, I do want to quit mission. And then do freestyle. And this is where you just kind of get set yourself in, a, in any of the locations and do whatever you want. So I've only done Grand Canyon. Let's do... Italy... Oh, Death Valley. Let's do Death Valley. We'll start from start point one. Um, daytime, etc. So it's like the Grand Canyon almost. The closer you fly to a surface, the higher you score. Yeah, so that's another way you build up. Now this is a mode where you're kind of free to do whatever you want. However, it's not a downward slope. Oh no, this one might be a downward slope. The one I tried prior to was not a downward slope. So I get bonus points for doing tricks, for staying close to stuff, I'll do a bunch of barrel rolls for some points, do it the other way. So I did seven, eight barrel rolls in a row and only got 1600 points, which is not great. I've got to get at least 200,000 to get a one star. Um, okay, I'll risk flying close to the cliffside and probably end up dying. So although the game's visuals aren't like amazing, I would say that some of the vistas you can fly through and over, like the, those villages and whatnot were, that were in the race, I like that stage a lot. 
forward flip and distance. Oh, we're losing too much height though. Uh, adrenaline. This is not going well. I don't even know how far of a stage will go down if it does eventually just kind of end or if it expects you to do a landing prior to that. I think you can pull your parachute whenever you want, but obviously you can't do tricks or whatever. And the, the bonus for landing when you pull your parachute is only like 5k, so it's really insignificant as far as a. Well, when you need 320,000. Is that 320,000 or is that 3.2 million? I can't concentrate on how many zeros those numbers have in the top of the right while I'm trying to also concentrate on not steering well steering so close to the cliffside that I'm getting points for it but not so close that I'm about to meet it okay, let's go this way I'll fly over here this time and use adrenaline I have tried kind of like you know how in some flying games you kind of you nose dive and then pull up and you catch an air pocket to get more height that doesn't seem to apply to this I'm afraid I don't understand the physics of squirrel suit jumping <laughs> well I know you're gliding but still Surely you can still find air pockets that give you a boost again. What my points at? 78,000 almost. I'm heading down the valley still. Give me more points for being close, come on. I'm right near. I'm right at it, come on! How close do I need to be? Oh, okay, as it turns out, really close. And then we're going to turn over here, use adrenaline to just twist myself around. Look at that big cliffside there, that's a good thing to fly next to. here. Uh oh, no, I think that might be too high. It is. Uh, okay, well, let's let's go low. I want to go back to that race mode, so let's... <laughs> let's forward roll to our doom. Oh, I've got lots of points for whatever I just did there. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm losing too much height now. I came, I'm too low. I'm in the, the trenches of the Death Star. Wow, under sailing bonus 20k, really? So you get the most points for doing that. Uh, back up. Whoa. Oh, it's opened up more. Okay, good, good. I am actually still in this. Oh, right, so the... Th yeah, I see now it is actually 2 million, and I'm at 251,000, so I'm only a quarter of the way there. That is not going to happen. Clearly, I mean, that just shows that I'm clearly not good at the game if I can't even manage a quarter of the score to get one star on this mode anyway. I think I'm okay at the challenges, I found it fairly easy to progress through those, the ones where you just kind of hit the checkpoints, a minimum amount before you reach the end of the, the run. Is that down there? Oh, I should get lots of under ceiling bonus, that, that is a big bonus, I should probably try and trick while doing this. Come on, give me... There we go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Wow, the stage just keeps on going. Like the the one of this mode I tried before, just to re-emphasize, I was kind of in the middle of a big quarry or up, up up top, but there didn't seem to be any trenches like there are here where it was easy to stay low but still keep on progressing because the stage got progressively lower. <coughs> so I do think I'm running out of cliffside, however. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this score. It's certainly a lot better than I usually manage. Uh, but we are going to kind of come down and... I don't want to land in the water. So we'll come down over here. Maybe it'll force me to land soon. Okay, we're just going to pull our parachute and land. <laughs> that land would break his shins. Uh, well, I got a new personal best. I suppose that is not bad. My final score after all the tallies was 434,000. Almost almost halfway towards one star. <laughs> well, we're going to go back to menu and I'm going to give that race one more try and then we will end this Let's Look Out of Skydive proximity flight there. As I was saying, it's available on Xbox and PS3 and if you have Move or Connect, you can make use of those if you want. It might actually be better with those than moving around the Joe Shock. I do not know. So that was, yeah, Adrenaline Race. Unfortunately, since I didn't Place. Oh no, I, I did place enough to actually unlock the death... Oh, the stage I just did. Okay, right, we're going to try a Death Valley race now. Let's go. By the way, you can select your character. Uh, it just it changes what they wear. I picked Lightning because I'm Lightning Flick. Shout out to anybody who can remember Suicoden 1 and 2. I wonder if I want to fly low early now that I know this stage keeps on going down, so it's okay. Where are my opponents? I am in first, apparently. Use a little bit of adrenaline. 
I think the trick to these races is working out how you build adrenaline. And I'm guessing it's... Well, let's try a trick. Did that build adrenaline? Ever so slightly. Yeah, any time you gain points, it gives you adrenaline. So, flying close to stuff would give you points, which in turn would give you adrenaline to give you speed boosts to stay first. That is the trick. I am now almost sure of it. Yeah, look at my bar filling. I'm just flying close. I'm also not 100% sure where I'm supposed to be going. Is lower better? Um, I'm not in first, so usually you would see your opponent highlighted on your HUD. Oh, he's right below me! Or, or someone is right below me. So they went low, so I'm going to have to do the same. You'll get lots of points in here, as you just saw in the, the mode I was doing before. So let's get down here into the trench. And have at it. Oh, yep, yeah, there's two of my opponents right there. Coming for you. I have the high ground. He's just he's just below me. Apart well in fact no two of them must be because I'm in third now. Uh, I don't really think I should be trying to fit through this. I did though. Come here. He's 250 meters away. That does not look like 250 meters. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Just stay camp, stay camp. There we go. Catch up to him. I am gaining on him ever so slightly, 190 meters now. Where's the finish line? Usually you can see the, the smoke. Ah, he's going to be getting more adrenaline than me because he's been flying lower for longer. It's back to 290. I have adrenaline. Screw it, I'll use it now. Possibly a bad idea. Oh, God. Oh, right in there. Uh, oh, I accidentally changed my camera. I'm not sure how I did that. Did I press Y? I did. I am... Um, y. Wrong console. I pressed triangle. There we go. Oh, I screwed myself up near the end once again. Oh! Why wasn't I getting any adrenaline for that? So now... I'm in second, but first place is 650 miles away from me. Eh, uh, meters. <laughs> miles. It really would be ridiculous if it was 650 miles away from me. Come on, at least try and get third so I can place and unlock a new race. That's something, at least. I want something. Come on, come on! Third place! I unlocked a new race, hopefully, and then I'll just pull my parachute for dramatic effect. So that is going to conclude this little look at Skydive Proximity Flight. There will be relevant links below to the, the website for Cajun Entertainment, etc. I can't remember how much it is, I'm afraid, um, so you'll have to look into that yourself. I'm enjoying it so far, even though it's not a sport I even knew existed prior to playing this. Um, and I think you'd enjoy it, as long as you don't have extreme vertigo. My name is Flick, thank you for checking out this video. Ta-ta for now!